So it surprises me that considering how long the Sword peasant knife has been around, people still haven't seen it. This is just a very, very old design, well, well over a hundred years. And it's tried and true, and man, I absolutely adore it. The one thing we never focus on in everyday carry is ergonomics. We like the looks, you know, we like the steel, but when it comes to comfort, these are my favorite knives. If I ever want to go into the woods and actually do some real heavy work for any period of time, these are the knives I like to carry. In fact, uh, we've already had a lot of use out of the peasant already, as you can see. It comes with a full convex grind, which I love, and the comfort on the handle is just phenomenal. Phenomenal. It does not have a 90 degree spine. I should mention that. However, it is very, very easy to do. Uh, what I, and actually what I recommend, and I've done in the past, is add a 90 degree spine to the back here. And that way, when you close it, that whole 90 degree spine is buried inside this very comfortable handle. It may also think that this is uncomfortable, but I can tell you it's not, surprisingly. Now, this cool little trick that I learned while being here on Instagram, thank you guys for this, is how to open one of these in a very slick way. Now, a lot of people might, with friction folders, they'll pull it out like, like you just saw. But there is a better way you can open this that is far better. So you hold it with the back of the spine against your hand and simply pull the handle down. Very slick, very easy to do. Now, that's the full-size uh, peasant. But I got to say, for EDC, though, the mini peasant is almost the perfect size in every way and there's no better carrier for a bead than these because of the way they're set in the pocket you know the bead is a perfect way to grab it and it still won't get in your way when it's being held in your hand so it's just an awesome way to do it and once again we have the opening system with this now I'll be I these are my personal versions and I have used them quite a bit but the, you'll be getting your own pair as part of the EDC gear draft coming up if you choose this item. I'll put some information on that in the end. And I just want to say a big, big, big thank you to Sword Canada for sending these from, from um, far away to participate in this gear draft. He's definitely my go-to guy for all this Sword stuff. And it's just awesome to be able to patronize someone a little bit more local who's, who's really passionate about these knives in particular I, I am I'm I'm very much a, a knife like steel snob if you will but there's something amazing about the carbon steel that's in these they just take an edge like nothing else and they are a absolute just dream to use on any kind of woods craft I highly recommend it if you're a woodsman or you are some someone who likes to work with wood Get yourself one of these or try your luck at getting one of the seven slots in this gear draft. They are phenomenal. And the cool thing about the wood handle ones, which I really wanted to make sure we did, is you can refinish, take it apart, refinish the wood and stain it in any color you choose and really make it personal to you. With carbon steel blades, you can also blue them. You can you can do some, some different texturing. So... This is a wonderful knife, and ever since I've started carrying a Sword, I've never even looked at an open L, um, because unlike those, I can easily one-hand this while being legal anywhere in the UK and a lot of other countries as well. So it's still an excellent blade that I can carry in most places, and I enjoy it. I really do. I think it's got a great aesthetic to it. I think it pairs incredibly well with leather goods. But definitely take a look. I think you will enjoy stuff from Sword.